All right, so let's do a couple of these for the ones who were out Friday. We had a lot of people out Friday. Let's do, uh, did we do number two Friday? I'm oh, sorry. Did we do number two Friday? Yeah, we did, oh, we did all the way to did, number 13. Yeah, I did number two. We did all the way to number 13. Uh, we went out. All right, yeah, let's go over four. Adam, I don't think I showed the class number four. Yeah, you did. You did all the way to number two. No, yeah, I think you just went back and did it on your own, Adam. It's okay. We'll see what you got and see if you got it right. All right, everybody, let's start on number four. All right, so first thing you guys have to look at, Trey, we got to make sure the logs are the same. Guys, if the logs are the same, you mark them out and you don't have to use them. So number four, mark out your log base sevens. And then all you do is bring down the 8x plus 20 on the left. You bring down the x plus 6 on the right. You guys get an answer on that now. And then i got to show you how to check these. Remember, you have to check your answers on every one of these problems. All right, Daniel, phone's up, please. Thank you. So if you move x over, that's a negative 1x. I got 7x equals negative 14. So my answer is x equals negative 2. Everybody good on how I got negative 2? All right, so look, we have to check every answer on this paper. How do we check it? All right, if you plug in negative 2 right here, what's negative 2 plus 6 give you? Gives you 4, so it's okay. When is it not okay? If it's a zero or a negative number, you got to throw it out. Let's plug it in here. 8 times negative 2 plus 20. What did you get? I think you got 4 again. So it's at, even though it's a negative number, it actually works on both parentheses. So that answer is okay. That answer is good. All right, so most of 1 through 8 are those type problems. All right, so we did down to 12, I'm pretty sure. I believe we're on 13. Is that right? All right, let's go to 13. All right, now we're going to have a lot of new properties and a lot of new rules. All right, so we're looking at 13. Does everything have the same log? Yep, so I can mark out the logs, but we have to do something new on this one. All right, so you guys who were here Friday have heard this. If you weren't here Friday, once you mark the logs out, if it's got a plus in between the logs, when you bring it down, you times it. What do we do when it's got a minus in between logs? We divide it. So we're going to have 3a plus 14 divided by 5. Anybody want to ask me a question about that? If it's got a plus, RJ, you got to times it when you bring it down. If it's got a minus in between them, you have to divide it when you bring it down. All right, so the other side, once I mark out the logs, is just 2A. I'm going to write that as 2A over 1. I showed you all that Friday. If you're writing both as fractions, now you can cross multiply. I think it makes it easier. Anybody got a question how we set it up? All right, the cross multiply step should be easy. Times this way, if you want to times this way first, 2a times 5 is 10a. Times this way, 3a plus 14 times 1, that's just going to be 3a plus 14. All right, you guys get me an answer now from that. It might be a fraction for an answer. If it is, it's okay. Remember, you have to plug in your answer and check every one of these. Do we divide it? Uh, you will have to divide at the end, Adam, yes. So move the 3 over. I got 7a equals 14. Check my answer, guys. I got a equals 2. Now, we have to check that. We have to plug that in. If I plug in 2 right here, what do I get? 2 times 2. Four. So, okay there. What about if I plug it in here, what do I get? Three times two plus 14 is 20. So, as long as it's not a negative number or zero, you can keep it. We can keep that answer. All right, next one. Let's go to 14. Got log base 7 of x plus log. 
log base 7 of x minus log base 7 of 3 equals log base 7 of 12. All right, so your new properties you just learned. It's got a plus in between them. I got to times them, right? So x times x is x squared. What do I do again if it's got a minus in between them? I divide it. So I divide it by 3 equals 12 over 1. You guys cross multiply that and I'll see what you get. Any question how I set it up? When it's got a plus, you times them, minus you divide them. Let's see if y'all get an answer from there. Go this way, I got x squared equals 36. How do I solve for x from here? X plus plus. Take the, take Good. You take the square root, right? So it's plus or minus 6. It's positive 6 and it's negative 6. It's both answers. Don't forget, square root is plus or minus. Now we got to check both answers. We might get to throw one out. All right, if I plug positive 6 in here, I'm okay. Here, I'm okay because it just stays positive 6. If I plug negative 6 in right here, nothing changes. It stays a negative 6, and you can't have a negative, remember. So we'll throw out that answer. The only answer on this problem is positive 6. What if both answers get thrown out again because both are negative? And there's no solution if you don't have an answer left. All right, 15. If you were here Friday, you should be able to do 15. If you were out Friday, it's got a new step. All right, what is the new step on 15? Yeah, the four is in front. Guys, remember, if you have a number in front of the log, all right, if you're out, watch close. Four becomes the exponent for the number behind the log. When you set it up, the number in front of the log becomes the exponent for the number behind the log. So that's going to be x to the fourth. I got it times by five equals 405. All right, write it down. All right, so first step, what do we do? We've got to solve for x. Let's divide by 5. Somebody divide that for me, please. 405 divided by 5 is? 81. All right, write it down. 3. 3? All right. Is it plus or minus 3 or just 3? 3. three. Plus 3. x equals positive 3. If it's an even exponent, Adam, we, we, we got to do the plus or minus. So... It's really positive 3 and negative 3, but will both answers check? Uh, negative 3, if you plug it in here, it stays a negative 3. So, yeah, we throw it out anyway. So, you're right. It's just positive 3. All right, I think there's one more of these problems on the front that's a normal problem before we start getting into some new stuff. Let's go to 19. That's a normal problem. Where did you get 3 from? Where did you get 5? Oh, okay. Where did I get this 3 from here? Sorry, I skipped a step, didn't I? we got to get the x by itself. Right now, that's 4 over 1, so I did the reciprocal. Adam typed that in and got 3. So that's the same thing that we were doing on the worksheet before bathroom break. So we didn't cross multiply on this one? Uh, the only time you had to cross multiply before is when you had fractions. I don't think we had fractions on this one. We didn't, so I didn't have to cross multiply. All right, 16 is a new problem, 17 and 18 are new, 19 is a similar problem. So let's jump to 19. We'll come back and do the other ones in a minute. Log base 6, 3m plus 7. All right, log base 6 of m plus 4. 2 log base 6, 6 minus 3 log base 6 of 3. All right, so we got some new stuff on this one. All right, first of all, do all the logs cross out? Yep, yep, 
Yep, and yeah, they all cross out. All right, all right, Trey, let's focus, buddy. All right, so we got a minus sign in between the locks. We know we got to divide that, right? So it'd be 3m plus 7 divided by m plus 4. So the left side of the equal sign, we divide it. All right, how about the right side of the equal sign? We got another minus sign, so we're going to have to divide, right? Again, remind me, what happens with the number if you got one in front of the log? What, what does it become? <coughs> Exponent. So that's going to be 6 squared on top over 3 to the third on the bottom. Does anybody got a question how to set that up? Can you go ahead and simplify it? Yes, and I am going to go ahead and do that. All right, Levy's right. Instead of 6 squared, guys, we should write 36 on top and 27 on the bottom. I just didn't want to skip a step and lose y'all on that. All right, so now we can cross multiply on this one, right, Christian? Because we got fractions on both sides. But before I do that, Trey, type this in for me. Type in 36 over 27 in your calculator. Hit equals. See if it simplifies it. What did it give you when you simplified? Type it in in a fraction, hit equals, and it should simplify for you. Okay. Guys, it gives you 4 over 3. Now, do you have to make that change? You don't have to. I just think it's going to make it a lot easier if you make that change. If you left it 36 over 27, you'd get the same answer. All right, so now you guys cross multiply from there. Let's get our answer. Probably got negative one, is that right? All right, so watch me cross multiply this. When you go this way, 4 times m is 4m. Four, 4 times 4 is 16. Remember, you got to distribute. When you go the other way, do the same thing. 3 times 3 is 9m. 3 times 7 is 21. All right, is it still going to be negative 1? All right, solve it now and get an answer. I move 9 over, that's negative 9. I got negative 5m, positive 5. I got negative 1 also. All right, now we got to plug that in to see if it works. It being a negative, it might not work. If I plug negative 1 right here, and I do 3 times negative 1 plus 7, what's that give me? Gives me 4. So it's okay there. How about right here? Negative 1 plus 4 is 3, so it works on both of them. So just because it's a negative answer doesn't mean you're going to throw it out automatically. All right, new stuff now. I think the easiest one for us to start with, guys, is 18. All right, so let's go to 18 next. <coughs> Log base 8, again, minus 3. Plus log base 8, again plus 4, equals 1. All right, somebody look at it. What makes number 18 a new problem? What's, what's different about it? Only one's under a sign. All right, good. I think Adam saw it. We've got a 1 over here that doesn't have a log. Remember, everything's got to have the same log, right? Look, log base 8, log base 8. This doesn't have a log base 8, so we have to do this one a different way. So the last four problems on this sheet, we're going to have to do them all different way. Here's how you do it. Go back to how we used to write something in exponent form. So I'm going to go 8 to the first power equals. You have to do it this way when everything doesn't have a lot. Now between these two, when I bring them down, they got a plus in the middle. What happens when it's got a plus in the middle again? You times it. So it'll be n plus 3 and n plus 4. Now you guys are going to have to foil that out. All right, any question about how I set it up? You only have to do it this way if you have something that does not have the same log as everything else. So I need you guys to foil that. 
and let's see what you get. Go. So this one's going to be a little bit longer. Now, guys, none of this stuff's on the quiz tomorrow. This is all on Thursday's test. Maybe Friday's test. I wrote it down wrong? No, I've got A minus three right there. Give me that, give me that. Oh, 16 minus 20 minus 75. You got N plus three up there. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. I see what you're saying. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. All right, Allison, you were right. My old age is catching up. That's the N minus three. I had an N minus three. I don't know why I brought that N plus three. Sorry. All right, so when you boil that out, we should have N squared plus 4 N minus 3 N minus 12. Now, are we going to have to do quadratic formula on this problem? Oh, we got to do four in this one. That's right. We got to combine like terms, but we are going to have to do quadratic formula. So I'm going to move my positive 8 over, make it a negative 8. Now let's combine all the like terms. Add those up. What'd y'all get? 1 in. Negative 12 minus 8 is negative 20. All right, you got in. I mean, you only got in, not just in squared. <laughs> Thank you, Ash. Mm -hmm. So now you can do quadratic formula, or you can factor if you want to factor. That's going to factor really quick and really easy. If you Well, let's, let's not do quadratic then, Beck. Let's factor this. Like I said, she said okay. quadratic. So watch how easy this one factors. I got n times n. What numbers can we times together and get 20? 5 and 4. Which one's positive? Which one's negative? Got to have 5 and positive. So this answer is negative 5. This answer is positive 4. Now we have to check both answers. And on this one, one of the answers is going to get thrown out. Which answer gets thrown out? Why does negative 5 get thrown out? Because when you plug it in, what's negative 5 minus 3? That's negative 8. And you can't have a negative or a 0. Throw that one out. 4 is okay. Because 4 minus 3 is 1. So it's okay. So the only answer on that problem is 4. All right, we got three more. Let's go up to now. Let's do 17. I think 17 will be the one most similar to number 18. Log base 16, 9x plus 5, plus, minus log base 16, of x squared minus 1, equals 1 half. Alright, so this problem is almost just like number 18. We got a log base 16 there and there. This number doesn't have a log. That's why we got to do it the new way. All right, what is the new way? 16 uh, uh, 1. Good. 16 to the 1 half power equals. Now, what happens with these two since they have a minus in between? We divide them. So I got 9x plus 5 on top. I got x squared minus 1 on the bottom. Um, let's, let's simplify this first. Levy, what's 16 to the 1 half power going to give me? Type that in your calculator and Levy says 4. So I'm going to write that as 4 over 1. Is everybody good with that? Mm -hmm. Now we can cross multiply and I'll show you how to finish it. We're probably going to have to do quadratic formula on this one. You guys cross multiply, set it up, and let's see if we have to do quadratic after we cross multiply. We got out our worksheet from yesterday. When I times by 1, I got 9x plus 5. 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times 1 is minus 4. All right, you guys put everything on the right side now, and we'll do quadratic formula on this one. Four x squared minus nine x 
minus 9. All right, got to do quadratic now. We'll find both answers. Mm -hmm. Then we'll check both answers, make sure both of them work. Y'all get it right here when y'all plug that in. I got 81 minus 4. I got 225. All right, that changes to 15. So we got 9 plus or minus 15 over 8. All right, find both answers and we'll check them. So 9 plus 15 is 24 over 8. The first answer I got was 3. Second answer, my calculator gave me was negative 3 over 4. Okay, so we got to check these and make sure both of them work. Three does. Three works, let's check it. 9 times 3 is 27 plus 5. As long as it's a positive number, it works. So 3 works. How about negative 3 over 4? I can't do that one in my head. I'm going to have to plug it in. If we do 9 times negative 3 over 4 plus 5. I got a negative, so it doesn't work. That one crosses out, the only answer is three. Two more, and then we'll quit for the day. We got to do, I know we got to do 20, and we got to do what's the other one? 16. All right, let's, let's go to 16 next. Everybody good on 17? All right, 16. We got log, take six. 2x minus 5 plus 1 equals log base 6 is 7x plus 10. So how many of these harder problems will I put on the test? Not many. Most of them are going to be like the first 20 or first 15. All right, 16 isn't set up right. What, 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 am, I, what am I talking about? Look at, uh, y'all see on 18 how they had the 1, the number that doesn't have a log, they had it on the right side of the equal sign by itself. That's how it's got to be set up that everything doesn't have a log. So on this one, what do we need to do? we got to move plus 1 over there. That's going to make it a negative 1. And we got to move this log base 6 of 7x plus 10 over here. So it's going to look like this. 2x minus 5 there minus log base 6, 7x plus 10 there. So the first thing, rewrite it for me. I'll let you write it down. You gotta rewrite it because you gotta have the negative one on the right side all by itself. All right, so now we can set it up. Can anybody set it up? How do we start it? All right, this one doesn't have a log, so we gotta do it the new way. Six to the negative one equals. All right. Because if you have one like this, Riley, where everything doesn't have the same log, the number without a log has to be on the right side by itself. That's just how it's got to be set up. Oh, my block. Sorry, wrong way. All right, so these two have a minus in between them. So what do I do with them? I divide them, then cross multiply. All right, 2x minus 5 over 7x plus 10. All right, Adam, will you type in 6 to the negative first power? Tell me what that equals in the calculator. 1 over 6. All right, so I'm going to erase this and replace it with 1 over 6. Now you guys can cross multiply. Am I going to have to do quadratic formula on this one? No. It doesn't have an x squared. You just cross multiply. All right, do that one. You should be able to work it out.
Go this way, I got 7x plus 10. Go this way, I got 12x minus 30. Is this one a fraction? I saw it, see if y'all get a fraction. It is a fraction. That's not a fraction. Did I mess up? Yeah. I said 30. I wrote 3. 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 times 5 is 30. All right, so move 12x over, got negative 5x, negative 40, my answer is 8. Where'd you get negative 40 from? I had plus 10, I moved it over, made it a minus 10, added up negative 30 and negative 10, I got negative 40. Wait, uh, wait, on, uh, uh. All right, let's go back to the cross multiply step, Adam. Oh, never mind, got it, got it, got it. Got it, okay. All right, so now, 8 is the answer, right? Check it. 2 times 8 minus 5 is 11. That's okay, and that's okay. So that answers pretty well. All right, I'll wait on it. Right, we got one more we're going to do, then we'll clean up. Okay. 20. If you guys want to go ahead and set it up, go ahead. I don't care if you write it down. Just set it up. You don't have to write it down. All right, Adam, we're good on 16? All right, I'm going to write down 20, but y'all don't have to write it down. 